In week one, we looked at how to add two vectors. What we want to do next is look at how to add two matrices. And again, instead of simply telling you how to add two matrices, we're going to motivate why matrix addition is defined the way it is by looking at linear transformations. How to add two matrices? Well, let's again do an example. We're going to start with two linear transformations. Both map from R3 to R2. So both take vectors of size 3 and create vectors of size 2. And then we're going to define a vector function. And the way that vector function is defined is if you put in a vector x, you evaluate LA with that vector x, you evaluate LB with that vector x, outcome two vectors, you add them together, and that's the result of this new function. In goes vector x into both the linear transformation LA and LB. Take the results and add them. You get the new vector function. And as always, we ask the question, is this a linear transformation? What is the matrix that represents it? We're going to use this to motivate how two matrices are added. We know that LA is a linear transformation, so the, we know that LA of x is the same as A times x. And we know that there's some matrix associated with this. Same thing for B. All right. Now, what do we do to come up with a possible matrix for L sub C? In goes the first unit basis vector. You evaluate both L and A and LB with the unit basis vector. But we know that this evaluates to the first column of A. And this evaluates to the first column of B. Since those are two vectors, we know how to add them. And we get that right there. In goes the second unit basis vector. Evaluate LA and LB. Out come the second columns. We know how to add those two vectors. And we get that right there. Same thing for the third unit basis vector. Okay, so what do we know? We know how to evaluate LC with the unit basis vectors. But we know that the results of those become the columns in the matrix that might represent L sub C, if L sub C is a linear transformation. Notice that all we're doing is we're adding corresponding elements together. So, let's have a look. L times C is defined by this matrix times x, which is defined by L A times x plus B times x, which we can think of as adding A and B together if this indeed is a linear transformation. And that just means adding the corresponding elements of A and B together. Look at this and look at that. So, we're going to let you prove that L sub C indeed is a linear transformation. Instead, we're just going to say, look, if you have two matrices that are both M by N, then adding them together means adding corresponding elements of the matrices together. We can look at an algorithm for adding matrix B to matrix A, overwriting matrix A. And the way that works is you partition, you expose, you add, move on, expose, add, move on, expose, add, and you're done. So the important thing is adding two matrices together means adding corresponding elements together.